Welcome back to the free CAD Made Easy series from Nerding Out with Nevin. I'm Nevin, and this is part four. Up until now, we've sketched the outlines of possibility, padded them into solid blocks, and pocketed holes, digital lightsabers cutting straight through Lego bricks. The bones of our models are here, and now it's time to replicate them, copying and arranging features the way DNA doubles itself into new cells. First, we'll unlock the multiply tools, clone a feature as a perfect echo, mirror a shape into a twin, line up pockets in rows like stormtroopers, or spin one slice into a whole pizza. Then we'll meet datum features, invisible helpers like custom planes and axes, scaffolding that makes precision possible without ever showing up in the final feature. And by the end, we'll fuse it all together into true parametric design. Models that aren't just static blocks, but blueprints that can adapt in seconds, ready to evolve at a moment's notice. If you're enjoying the series, I'd really appreciate it if you'd give the video a like. And consider subscribing to Nerding Out with Nevin to keep leveling up your CAD skills with each new episode. The multiplying tools open the door to quick duplication without rebuilding features from scratch. Every multiplier has its own personality. Clone is the faithful echo, a shadow that always follows its source. Change the original, and the clone updates instantly. Mirror is the twin spell. One feature reflects across a plane, symmetry, with zero extra effort. Polar is the pizza wheel. A single slice spins into a full circle of copies. Linear is the marching army. A feature repeats in rows or grids, each copy lining up in perfect formation. Multiple transform is the fusion reactor. It combines several transformations at once, letting you mirror rotate, and move features in a single powerful step. Sometimes these tools need extra references to work from. That's where datum features come in. Custom planes, axes, and points extend what's possible, and we'll see how they fit into the workflow later. Now that we've met the four multiplier tools, it's time to see how they work. Each tool has its own rhythm, clone, mirror, polar, and linear. And in the next few sections, we'll walk through them one by one. To best demonstrate, we'll start with cloning a feature. Open the model we created back in parts two and three of this series, the same block with a pocket cut through it. This all takes place in the part design workbench, keeping the workflow consistent with the rest of this series. An entire part can be cloned or just a single feature within a part giving flexibility whether the whole design is repeated or only one piece of it. Unlike the multiplier tools, it doesn't arrange copies in rows or circles. Instead, a new linked instance is created that always follows the original. Move, resize, or reshape the source, and the duplicate instantly echoes the change. The real advantage is speed. When a design calls for identical parts that always stay in sync, one update fixes them all. In addition, each new copy is created inside its own body, allowing additional features to be stacked on top. This makes it possible to extend or customize while still keeping everything tied to the original. It's time to see cloning in action. Start by duplicating the pocket feature inside the body. The new pocket isn't just a copy, it's a linked twin that always stays in step with the original. Next, try cloning the entire body. This doesn't just copy the block. It repeats the sketch and pocket, too, all bundled into one linked unit that mirrors any updates. At first glance, you may wonder, where are the clones? The answer? They're hiding in plain sight, stacked right on top of the originals. To spread them out, right-click each cloned body in the model tree and choose Transform. Move the first clone left, the second right, and leave the original in the center. Now you've got a clear trio, the original flanked by its two linked clones. If you'd rather not move the body itself, each clone can also be shifted by adjusting its position offset inside placement in the clone property settings. The clones may look like perfect copies until the original changes. Then things get interesting. Watch what happens next will mirror the bottom hole across the plane. The clone on the right instantly echoes the change, perfectly syncing with the original, but the left clone stays frozen in time. It was created before the mirror ever existed. In free CAD terms, it's living in an older version of reality. That's why timeline matters, even in CAD. 
The next multiplier is mirror. We already brushed against it during cloning, but now it finally gets its own spotlight. Mirror flips a feature across a plane, letting you create perfect symmetry without doing double the work. It creates a reflected copy across the chosen plane. A hole on the right can instantly appear on the left, perfectly aligned without extra effort. Select the item to duplicate from either the model tree or directly on the canvas. The task tab then shows the reflection options. Choose the plane, vertical, horizontal, a construction axis, or a base plane. Here's the catch. Selecting the base XY plane makes the mirror vanish. That's because the mirrored copy doesn't intersect the solid. It lands just outside the body, so there's no material for a pad to add or a pocket to cut. Once you click OK, the mirrored feature is added to the model tree and stays connected to the original pocket. If you edit that pocket later, the mirrored version updates automatically to match. When we created the clones earlier, the first was made at the pocket feature, and the second was created for the full body. The first clone doesn't show the mirrored feature because the pocket comes before mirror in the timeline. The second clone, made from the entire body, includes everything, mirror and all, giving the complete symmetrical result. The first clone branches off before the final commit, missing the mirrored feature while the full body clone stays synced with the latest version. Next up is the linear tool, the sculptor of rhythm and repetition, the quiet architect of order. It leads your feature in a straight, unwavering path, a procession of form and purpose, like footprints pressed into freshly fallen snow. Begin by selecting your feature, then choose its path, vertical, horizontal, or along any axis, X, Y, Z, an edge, or a datum axis of your own design. A self-made compass line upon which the pattern will march. Set the length to the width of the square. Set the count to three and click OK, but nothing happens. No duplication appears because the pattern moves left to right while the hole rests on the right edge. The copies drift beyond the solid, carving at air instead of material. To make the holes appear, Reverse the pattern direction so the cuts fall within the body where they belong. Now we see two holes, even though occurrences was set to three. Again, why? The reason is the same. The pattern length is too long, pushing the third hole off the left side of the square, leaving only two visible cuts. To make the third hole appear, adjust the length so the holes remain within the body. Because the hole occupies one quarter of the square's width, the correct length is square width minus one quarter times square width. This ensures all three holes fit neatly inside the solid instead of extending beyond its edge. Confirm, and your design awakens. A parade of forms, equal and proud, standing shoulder to shoulder in perfect symmetry. The linear pattern is the disciplined army of CAD. No wanderers here, no rebels. Only steadfast features in perfect alignment, marching toward mechanical harmony. Yet once again, the right clone hears the call and falls into step, while the left stands silent, a ghost at attention, forever waiting for a command that never came. Now we drift from reflection to rotation, the dance of the polar tool. It spins your creation into circular harmony, where one lonely form becomes many, a constellation of symmetry, the engineer's way of slicing the perfect pizza. Select your chosen feature, your first ingredient, and summon the polar tool. This is where the dough is rolled and the magic begins. Then, whisper your intent to the transform. Will you transform the body, spinning the whole feast? Or transform tool shapes, repeating only the flavor of one perfect slice? The choice is yours. The entire pie, or the memory of a single piece. Next, choose your axis, the still center around which all motion flows, the pivot of your cosmic cutter. Check. Reverse direction if you wish the dance to turn the other way, mirroring the rhythm on the far side of the plane. Set the overall angle, a full 360 degrees for a complete circle, or something less, a crescent to form, a partial feast upon the wheel, 
or offset the pattern entirely, slide the slices together around the hub. Add more ingredients if you wish, for the Polar Tool does not mind company. Each chosen piece will join the circle, a chorus of forms singing in symmetry. Now set the number of occurrences, how many cuts your invisible blade will make. In our tale, four corners call for four slices, a perfect balance, north to south, east to west. Click OK and watch as solitude becomes celebration. Now let's bring it all together with the multi-transform tool, the grand conductor of geometry. No longer content with a single motion, it lets you orchestrate many transformations, mirror, polar, and linear, all dancing together in one elegant move. And tucked quietly at the end of the list sits Scaled, introduced in version 1.0, a feature that resizes rather than multiplies, present but never quite part of the rhythm. Think of multi-transform as a combo move in a video game. Each transformation, whether mirror, polar, or linear, linking to the next in a seamless chain of motion. Every strike builds on the last until your model sings with precision, a perfect choreography of geometric intent. Begin by selecting your feature, then open the multi-transform tool. The task tab greets you like an old friend, familiar yet deeper now. For here you can layer transformation upon transformation, a growing list of moves waiting to unfold. Perhaps you mirror a pocket across a plane, then send it marching in a linear pattern along an edge, all within this single spell of creation. Right-click any transformation or the main multi-transform entry at the top of the list to open its menu. Adding from the top node places the new step at the end, while adding from a specific transformation inserts it directly after that step. Options include Edit, Delete, Add Mirror, Linear, Polar, Scaled, and Move Up or Down. The order isn't fixed, it follows your hand. When you choose Add, the new step is always placed directly after the item you have selected in the list. FreeCAD builds the sequence one click at a time, a hierarchy defined entirely by your choices, not by preset rules. Use that to your advantage. Select Mirror before adding Polar to march your pattern inside its reflection, or select the top node first if you want Polar to lead and Mirror to echo. Scaled, meanwhile, remains the odd one out. It reshapes instead of repeating. It sits at the same table as the pattern tools, yet dances to its own tempo. Handy for stretching a form, but it doesn't belong in the duplication chorus. Multi-transform brings structure, repetition, and balance together. The precision of geometry guided by the rhythm of intent. The Datum Plane tool creates an independent reference plane, a custom surface that can host sketches or transformations when the standard XY, YZ, or XZ planes don't align with the design. It acts as a mini coordinate system inside the model, a controllable sheet of space that can be tilted, offset, or attached to any face or edge. The default origin planes are fixed and flat, but real parts rarely cooperate that neatly. A datum plane allows building sketches at angled or offset positions, using it as a mirror plane for symmetrical features providing reference geometry for transformation tools such as mirror, linear pattern, and polar pattern, either individually or combined in a multi-transform. Anchoring features that stay aligned even when the base shape changes, like a well-calibrated tractor beam for the model. To create one, activate the body to make it the current work context. Select the circle on the lower right side of the square. This defines the axis for the new plane. Click the datum plane icon to open the creation dialog. Set the attachment mode to normal to edge so the plane is perpendicular to the selected circle. Confirm to place the plane. The new plane appears in the model tree and can serve as a host for sketches, mirrors, or pattern references, like a new landing pad for the next feature. Now that we have the plane, let's use it. Select the body in the tree view and click the mirror tool. 
When prompted for a reference, select the datum plane just created. The existing feature is mirrored perfectly across that plane forming a clean symmetrical duplicate on the opposite side. Because the datum plane is attached to the circle, any future changes to the base geometry automatically update both sides of the mirrored feature. Symmetry with zero manual alignment. Pro tip! In larger models, build mirror planes like this early. It keeps geometry predictable, transformation change shorter, and updates far less chaotic when changes ripple through the design. Today, we unlock the multiplier tools, clone, mirror, polar, and linear. The core moves for multiplying features without extra effort. Hope you had fun bending geometry to your will. If this gave your CAD skills a power up, give the video a like. It's the nerdy equivalent of extra XP. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. What will you multiply next? And please subscribe to Nerding Out with Nevin to keep leveling up with the free CAD Made Easy series, plus plenty of other geeky builds, prints, and experiments. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.